On the savanna, counting elephants is as easy as launching a drone or a helicopter. But Africa's elusive forest elephants are another matter altogether. They occur in smaller groups. Uh, they can be quite secretive for such a, and, and quite quiet in the forest for such a large land mammal. Um, even when walking in the forests, uh, it's very difficult to see forest elephants. But what experts like Emma Stokes of the Wildlife Conservation Society can see are the signs these beasts leave behind. And one of the perhaps most prevalent signs they leave behind is their dung. Groundbreaking research just published in the journal Global Ecology and Conservation confirms that the Central African nation of Gabon is the forest elephant's main stronghold. Using DNA extracted from dung samples, researchers estimate there are about 95,000 of them, up to 70% of the region's total elephant population. But habitat loss and rising cross-border poaching are threatening this recently declared critically endangered species. Because their ivory is so precious to these criminal groups, um, they're what, go, what goes first. The overall elephant population in Central Africa has dropped by two-thirds over the past three decades, which is why taking a census of survivors is so important. But it is no easy task. The terrain is forbidding, and the animals are shy. In areas where they've experienced um, poaching pressure, um, they also kind of develop a, 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 a healthy fear, I guess, of, of humans. And they have an excellent sense of smell. And they'll catch wind of you long before you have any idea they're there. Collecting the dung is hard work. Researchers often hike for hours before finding a viable sample. The dung has to be uh, fresh, so steaming fresh. Stokes says this is the first time the method has been applied to a species across an entire country in Africa. White says Gabon's forest elephant numbers are up 50 percent since the last census in the 1990s. He credits investments in sustainable forestry and public outreach. The Gabonese people tend to respect um, elephants and not kill them. But climate change has degraded the forests to the point that the elephants are increasingly encroaching on human settlements, most likely in search of food. The elephants today are much thinner than they were 20 years ago. You can see their ribs sticking out, you can see their backbone sticking out. White says a nation's ability to protect its elephants is an indication of its overall stability. You see it around Africa, countries that have lost their elephants, have lost control of their natural resources, have often actually lost control of their countries. Alan Breed, Associated Press.